Now, and we're moving on to our morning business report. Connecticut led U.S. home price gains last year. Channel 3's Jane King is live in New York. So, Jane, why are so many more people buying homes in a pandemic? <laughs> Hi, Nicole and Middle. I know a bunch of people from New York that bought homes in Connecticut last year, so they were part of this. And U.S. home prices in general, fueled by the lowest mortgage rates in history, rose at the fastest pace on record, in fact, even faster than what we saw during the last housing peak around 2005. Now, the Northeast led the way with a 21% gain as buyers run to, uh, the, went to the suburbs, away from the big cities. Fairfield County, home to Greenwich, some other cities as well, of course, rose 39%. It was the biggest increase in the U.S. The median price of a single family home nationwide climbed about 15% to $315,000 in the fourth quarter. Well, TGI Fridays will close fewer locations due to the pandemic than originally announced. The chain's CEO says they'll close between 10 and 12%. Uh, the, uh, did, they, the CEO did say back in May that TGI Fridays would close 20% of its restaurants, but they adapted to changing consumer behavior by providing delivery and curbside pickup. And Bumble, the dating app where only women make the first move, climbed 64% in its trading debut. The chief executive officer, Whitney Wolf Hurd, who at 31 is the youngest woman to take a large company public in the U.S., uh, did say she's grateful to other women to having paved the way for her and will use the money from the IPO to pay down debt and pursue acquisitions. Well, stocks finished mixed yesterday. Energy shares declined. We did see weekly jobless claims remain high. Now, U.S. markets will be closed Monday for President's Day. Live from New York. I'm Jane King. Back to you.